Got an OO change up right here. That's the other thing that's so good about uh, flat grounds is you can just throw all your pitches. You don't have to just get on the mound. Now we do get on the mound, and we get on the mound a lot. Good. And what you want to challenge your pitchers is their delivery needs to be same on flat ground as it is on the mound. Good. Okay, while I'm, while I'm on it, you know, you also want to eliminate distractions. You want to try to throw these things without having balls flying everywhere. Right-handed hitters pulling balls down here at us. No distractions if possible. Good, Chris. Another thing before we change, you know, before we go into the windup, is you notice Chris is wearing spikes. Okay? When you're doing your daily throwing, you should not be wearing turfs or tennis shoes. You should wear spikes so you can make sure you get that good foundation on the ground so your delivery doesn't slip. You're not sliding all over the place. All right, now we're going to go in the wind up here. Good. We talk about rhythm, we talk about tempo, we talk about athleticism. Three things that we're trying to always have with our delivery. All right, so Chris is continuing the wind up here. You notice. We don't necessarily use a set number in the stretch and the wind up. As a coach, you want to move them from the stretch to the wind up, from the wind up to the stretch, just like it's going to happen in a real game. You want to try to simulate that in your daily throwing sessions. So Chris is staying in the wind up right here. You heard Coach Gaines, that was 0 to a lefty. Now these guys will also have some of their other pitchers stand in if they need to see that hitter. Good. See Chris's finish. He's finishing every pitch through the strike zone, not trying to place the baseball. I want to encourage you, too, to make sure you don't rush through your throwing. I'll say it again. Every single day I tell our pitchers the most important thing they do that day is their throwing. What we do after this is important, but not as important as their throwing session. Good, Chris. They're trying to perfect their craft, and to do so, they have to have a high level of concentration. So just Coach Gaines having the gear on gives Chris the confidence that it's okay if he misses a little bit in the dirt, he's got shin guards on. Now hold on one second. What you can do here if you need to, you really want to simulate the game, you can say, okay, he just caught an OO change up where you can pretend he got hit for a single. Then you can move Chris back into the stretch right here and just say, hey, just remind you have a runner on first base, just vary your holds, just a little thing that can help, but those are the things we have to be able to do in a game. Good. And that's something we're going to talk about in another video, controlling the running game. Um, it is varying our hold. So you need to go ahead and start working on it when you're doing your daily throwing progression. You want to incorporate the things that you're going to need to do every single day when you're pitching live. 